experiment day was when it happened. To be honest, it was the first bit of technical flying I'd done in months. Maybe that's why it happened. I was rusty and slipped up. I went too fast in the loop between the planet and its rings. I either way, when I left Saturn, there was a lot of light and a lot of noise, and then... I crashed. I came down about a mile away. The ship was totaled. God knows how I got away with just a broken rib. There was so much fire and smoke, I thought I might have crashed into Saturn itself. Maybe Saturn really was a demon and it had swallowed me whole. But then I saw the grass and stars in the sky. It was like a picture book of Earth. Right at the beginnings of its history, and, and I saw the lights of Sophia's house. I, I couldn't believe my luck. Although, to be honest, I've, I've always been lucky. I, I think someone up there likes me. I was dying when Grace arrived from the sky, but she saved my life. I think only the gods could have sent you. She had an infection, only something serious compared to the era. Otherwise, a quick course of antibiotics from my emergency metal kit cleared it right up. So that's what you've been doing in ancient Greece this whole time? Using future medicine to heal people? Word got out. They kept saying I was a miracle healer, but it's, it's really only standard issue stuff. Antibiotics, nanoplasters, and even painkillers. I'm running low, though. You spent all your weeks here helping people. I'm not sure I could manage that. I think I'd just despair. I did plenty of despairing. I still do, now and then. But, you know, the people of this time helped me. They, there's always work to do and debts to be repaid. Privilege and responsibility, right? You're really not what I expected, Grace. <laughs> That's what I aim for. So, is that all? You got out of your ship, headed to Sophia's, and have lived here for the past few weeks? No. No, that isn't all. Hey. Hey, are you alright? I saw a body. In the grass. For a, a terrible moment, I thought somebody had been caught in the crash. He was still alive, though, and, and only a boy, maybe nine or ten, but not like any boy I'd ever seen before. An alien? I've met ice warriors and fire maidens, I've fought alongside Zygons and Silurians, and I've met plenty of augmented humans at the Academy, but I'd never seen someone like him. His skin was blue and reflective. It picked up the colors around him, all the fire and smoke. He looked like oil on water, but alive. His clothes were a fabric I'd never seen, and he had this helmet, like... A space helmet, but way more advanced than mine, with little little wings on the side. Was he alive? I've, I've tried to care for him. I healed his wounds and mended his bones, but he just won't wake up. And if he's an alien, I could have just hurt him. Or, or passed the pathogen onto a system that he can't cope with. He's still here? I, I can take you to him. Every, every day it seems like he struggles a little more to breathe. You said you're a doctor. Can you help him? Can you tell us who he is at least? I can try. If you let me see him. Alright. Follow me.